is this square resembling a granny square with gapping throughout. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do an alternative granny square. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some acrylic yarn size four. So you're gonna start with a slip stitch and we're gonna start with a base ring. For our base ring, we wanna chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna do a slip stitch into the very first chain of the row or of the foundation chain. So into that first chain, insert your hook and pull through. And we've created a base ring. Now we are going to be working into the center of this base ring, into the little hole in the middle. We can move on to row one. For row one, you wanna chain three. One, two, three. And that counts as a double crochet. And now into the ring, you're gonna do two double crochets. So into the center of that ring, this is one and two. And now we're gonna start the row repeat. We're going to chain one and then do three double crochets into the center of the ring. So that's one, two, and three. And that ends the repeat. You wanna do that two more times. I'm gonna do it with you. We're going to chain one and then do three double crochets into the ring. So one, two, and three. Do it one more time, chain one, and then do three double crochets into the ring. One, two, and three. And now to finish off this row, we're going to chain one and then do a slip stitch into the chain three. So into the third chain of the chain three, the very top one, we're going to do a slip stitch. And this here is the end of row one. For row two, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next two double crochets and the chain space. So we're starting row two with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you see, then into the next, and now into the chain space, a slip stitch. Now we're going to do a chain three, one, two, three, and then into the same corner, we're going to do four double crochets into the same chain space. So that is one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do a chain one and then do a double crochet into the second double crochet of the previous row. So you have groups of three, right? So into the middle of it, you want a double crochet. Now you wanna chain one and then into the next chain one space, we're going to do five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five, all into the chain one space. And now that's a corner. I'm just gonna do this whole row with you. Now we chain one, and then do that double crochet into the center double crochet, or the second one of the three that you made previously. Now you chain one, which brings you to the next chain one space and into there you want five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. We're almost done here, you come around. So now we chain one, find that second double crochet and do a double crochet. I chain one, and now this is the last chain one space, so you want five double crochets there. One, two, sorry about my hair, keeps catching my yarn. Three, four, and five. So now you've come around and this is your last corner there. We're going to do a chain one and then do a double crochet into that second double crochet there. The last, the last one you need. A chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So one, two, three, into that third chain, just eight, slip stitch. 
And this here is the end of row two. For row three, we're going to do a slip stitch so we can get to the third of the five double crochets. The very first one is the chain three and then four double crochets. So basically you want to be in the center one. So we're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet and then into the one right after. And then basically that's where you want to start at, at this point, kind of in the middle. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then do five double crochets into the same spot. So into the same spot, five double crochets. This is two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do three double crochets into this double crochet here. So we're skipping two double crochets, going into the one that's kind of on the side. So on top of there, three double crochets. One, two, three. And that basically ends the row repeat. Here we're just gonna be doing six double crochets into the corners and then three on the sides. So let's do it again together. We're going to find the middle double crochet of the five of the corner. So the third one there, into there, six double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we want to do three double crochets on top of the one double crochet that's on the side to there, three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Now we want to find the third double crochet of the corner and into it do six double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now three double crochets into the side double crochet. One, two, and three. Now we find the third double crochet of the five of the corner into there six double crochets. So this is two, three, four, five, and six. And now on the side here, we're going to do the um, three double crochets on top of the side double crochet there. This is two and this is three. So now to finish off this row, you just want to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So into that third chain, we can do a slip stitch. And this here is the end of row three. For row four, we're going to do a slip stitch to get us again to the corner double crochet. So we're going to do a slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the next double crochet. And that brings you to the corner. So for row four, we're going to chain three and then into the same space, you want five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to chain one and then do one double crochet into the last double crochet of the corner. So into this one here, which basically means you're skipping two double crochets. And into the next, do a double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, and then do a double crochet into the middle of the three. So into the second one, which basically means you're just skipping one double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, and then do a double crochet into the first of the next corner. So basically we skip one, and into the next double crochet, a double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, 
and then you're going to find the corner double crochet sorry the, the middle double crochet off the corner which is the third one so this one here let's see one two three four five six so into this third one we're going to do six double crochets so that's one two three four five and six and that there basically gives you your side and your corners so that's what we want to do we are going to do it again together all the way around you chain one and then you do one double crochet into the last double crochet of the corner chain one find the middle double crochet of the side and into it do a double crochet chain one and then do a double crochet into the first double crochet of the corner chain one and find the third double crochet of the corner and into it do six double crochets so this is two three four five and six and now we've come to the other side I'm going to chain one do a double crochet on top of the last double crochet of the corner chain one double crochet into the middle of the three chain one a double crochet into the first double crochet of the corner a chain one and now six double crochets into the third double crochet of the corner one two three four five and six and now you can we're going to finish off the last side we're going to chain one and do a double crochet into the last double crochet of the corner chain one do a double crochet into the middle double crochet then a chain one and now we're going to do a double crochet into the chain three that's basically the this is basically the chain three of the previous row the one that you start with but it counts as a double crochet so into there we're going to do our final double crochet a chain one and then we can just slip stitch into the chain three that you started with on this row to the third chain there we do a slip stitch and we are all done you can go ahead and cut off your yarn and thread your ends through and here we have it as you can see it's a little bit different from your regular granny square because you don't do those clusters of double if you've seen our regular um, granny square it's clusters of double crochets with some spacing around so this one just gives you a little bit of a different look but it's pretty cool if you're looking for something new hey while you're at it why don't you just subscribe to my channel just do it just do it